All we need to understand about parallel lines is that parallel lines have exactly the same slope. Now, do you remember how to write the equation of a line? If I said, if the write the equation of a line if m equals 2 and the point it goes through is 3 comma 5. Could you write the equation of that line? Do you remember that? It was a whole homework assignment you did, right? So all you did is wrote y equals mx plus b. Yes. 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 He is checking out. Okay. Then what we did was we plugged in x and y. 5 equals 2 times 3 plus b. And then you solve for b, right? Then once you knew what b was, you knew what m was, y equals 2x minus 1. Right? So now the only difference with this problem is they're saying, I want this. Here's the point that it has to go through. But rather than telling you the slope, I want it to be parallel to this line. So what you need to know about parallel lines is parallel lines have exactly the same slope. So m equals 2 fifths. And the point it has to go through is 1 comma negative 1. So now you do this problem just like that. So we don't care about anything in the equation except for what is the slope, because the slope for parallel lines has to be exactly the same. Does that make sense? Now we just do it like we did before. Plug in two fifths. Plug in x and y. Now we subtract two fifths. Okay. Now be very careful. When I have a negative one minus two fifths, you're trying to subtract a whole number from a fraction from a whole number. So you got to rewrite this as a denominator of five. So that's really negative 5 fifths. So now I know what b is, and I know what m is. See what I did, how I did my fractions? Okay. Now I know b and I know m. So can I write the equation I know b and m? Yeah. y equals um, 2 fifths x minus 7 fifths. And that's my answer. Okay. Now, for the perpendicular one, 